okay hello everyone good day it's been a while on this channel welcome once again to the academy for digital learning and mastery studios adlm i'm sure by now many of us will be wondering what other things can the software plan swift be used for aside quantity takeoff you should know that the software plan swift can also be used for detailed material breakdown for every item of work that has been measured within the software there that is why with the adlm plan swift plugin it comes with a material schedule package which helps you to prepare the materials for measured work and export to excel now this is how we would go about it let's get into the video on this um takeoff summary section here we have our coin takeoff that has been done for substructure first floor roof ground floor paint floor and finishes and opening okay so i'll just be picking for some structural work so we'll see how we prepare the material schedule it's going to be a very short one now on this structure here we have the guards when you check the breakdown here you see we have the breakdown of every item of work which is the church excavation surface treatment network support leveling and compacting footing block work in the strip foundation and every other item of work has all been measured out automatically this quantity cost was done with the use of the adlm plan swift tool now for us to measure for the concrete items to get the quantity of cement sharp sand and granite that would be used for this concrete footing for example now what we'll do here is we'll come down to the material shadow plugin under the templates then we'll check out this concrete aspect here now this this concrete aspect here we have cement sharp sand and granite those are the three constituent items that mix up the concrete work for concrete works, we have the cement, the shaft and granite. All we have to do is, depending on the mix ratio and all, we will just pick the item, which is, you click this and you drag it into the concrete item here. So once you drag it into it, it gives you a pop-up window. Now in this pop-up window, it requests, it has the quantity already. That's 7.22 meter cube, which is what we have here. It has the wastage already here. Now, 1.45 means 45% wastage. You see, for based on this pop-up here, we already have the quantity of our concrete here, which is the 7.22 cubic meters. Then now, the volume here, the percentage of wastage, this is 1.45, which is adjustable. Based on the percentage margin for your work, we have 30%, we have 45%, 50%, and 65%. But for this video here, we're making use of the 45%. That's 1.45. Now the mix ratio, we have the cement ratio, the sand ratio, and the granite ratio right here. So those are the three mix ratios that we have here. At this stage here, what we do, we are using the one to four mix. That is the one of cement, two of sand, and four of granite, which is what we are going to use here. So for sand here, we put two. For cement here, we put one. And for granite, we put four. So that is the one to four mix of concrete. Then click OK. We will do the same thing for sharp sand also. We we'll drag this into the concrete constituent here, which is here. You drag this in. Then here we will just impute the wastage here also. Since we use 1.45 for cement, you can use less or higher here. So we we'll use the same thing. Then the volume per 5 ton, which is this, is adjustable based on your location. Then click OK. Then the granite quantities, you just drag this into the concrete item here okay then okay but what we have here now we now have the quantities of our cement as 42.24 bags of cement 4.33 tons of sharp sand and this of granite 8.66 of granite that is the quantity of cement sharp sand and granite we have for our concrete footing here now let's talk about the block work it has a block mastery item here we check the plug in the template we have here we have the mastery for this mastery item here this is this here we check on this drop down here now we have the 225 block the 150 block the cement and the sharp sand it can also be bricks also either blocks or bricks have the same measurement so the dimension of our blocks is 225 mm thick by 450 millimeters wide that is the dimension of the block here now what we have here just the simple method of drag and drop would also do here so we drag this block work into this for block here then you see it has given us the square area which is what we have here and the blocks per meter square 
then okay for cement also you drag this in for cement the cement is for the mortar remember now the shrinkage value then the bricks ratio one six so you can just adjust this and you can always adjust your mortar thickness this is 12 mm thick mortar so this is 12 mm this is millimeters so that will be 12 it can also be 25 millimeter that's the inch so just 25 millimeters thick of mortar you have the cement ratio and the sharp sand ratio okay now we have the quantities of our cement and sharp sand over here okay now let's move to the next item so that is how you would apply for all of your concrete constituents in your building remember our trench excavation is a labor only item surface treatment is a labor item then earthwork support is a formwork item also for, for earthwork support now just click on this formwork here the either you're using marine board or you're using the normal white wood board for here we have marine board here so we can just click this okay so for the measurement for earthwork support which is a component of formwork because we are making use of wood bracing and nail now the flat wood which is the marine board here you can just click this and drag it into the earthwork support section here then once you do that it gives you the quantity and shows you the area of board if you are using uh the other kind of board which is the normal plank that's the one by 12 you can just get the square area of that and just impute here this has gotten the quantities from this earthwork support here and okay for bracing also you would also drag this into this year now for bracing this time around you drag it into the boards so marine board here you drag the bracing and the nail into it so the brace goes into this the length of the wood is now the standard length of wood you are using is 3.3 then the bracing per board will be using let's say 2.5 depend this is flexible depending on your design of your formwork or design of your talk support that is why this is flexible because design varies design of your formwork varies depending on the specification or the type given by the engineer on site okay i click okay then for your nails also just drag this into the marine board also then okay so we have your nails already two point zero eight bags so that is how you go about it's just a simple drag and drop process here so with this here we've measured for the woods you use for your network support you measure for your concrete items you measure for your block work items yeah the blinding also if it's a concrete blinding you're making use of it's the same process of drag and drop so you're dragging the cement into this here then if the mix ratio let's say one three six so that will be three of sand one of cement then six of granite then okay the sharp sand also comes in yeah then you can just get your wastage here as 45 wastage and shrinkage then the granite comes in and okay so it's just a simple process with that we already have our blinding quantities here now for the ground beam also excavation is a labor only item surface treatment is a chemical it talks about the same process leveling and compacting is a labor item damp proof core then the blinding also as explained earlier and let's check for the next item of work here um let's say we will have anything on reinforcements now for col column here we have the formwork to column now for you see for this concrete in column here it gives us the formwork and the column the reinforcement and the links now for this column here you can just impute the detail this is still zero mm bar so let me just do this for us here the length of the bars that's the height of the column so we're having a for substructure here with depth of excavation or the depth of the column is 1.2 for my engineering joint plus 0 0.75 which is the extension of the reinforcement bar we have four bars and we have the 12 millimeter bars yeah that okay now for this year which is the links in the column also all you do is double click this then with this year you can just impute the size which is 10 millimeter bar the number of cover we have two covers that's the left and the right side that's two then the spacing is 0.175 based on the engineering drawing with this year all of that are estimated for so we have our 
concrete for column the formwork reinforcement bars now for the reinforcement bars here you can just pick this here just for reinforcement you see the bar you can just drag this into this reinforcement bar here this generates the quantities you see that it has given you the weight that's this here then the size of the bar which is 12 millimeter then if there's going to be an extra for your increase in length you can just add 1.2 for as extra see this is 1.2 here okay so it has factored that extra percentage in and the binding wire also comes in here now once you drag the binding wire in the weight of the binding wire this binding wire varies based on the size so if you are using a 20 kg just type 20 kg if you are using a 10 kg if you are using a 30 kg so you have those options here but yeah i'm using the 20 kg binding wire which will also influence the cost i'm making use of help you understand then okay so with this here we have our reinforcement bar and the binding wire quantity for this year for the links also same thing applies for formwork let's drag this board in to the formwork in column so we have our board area this okay it's just a simple process for the bracing you drag into the board so you open up this you drag the brace into the board which is what we're doing here then the length of the wood is 3.3 then the bracing power board for um column here but i said based on the design so the design is a two to five by two to five column probably we have just one two let's say 1.2 that's total that's of uh, um wood so you click okay so the format to column is always based on the type of column we are going to be making use of okay so i can leave some samples of columns yeah where well you see different types of column form work and this is what will inform the kind of brace that you choose now for the nails drag this into the form work then okay and with this year we've prepared for items of work now that is just how you would apply this to all of the items of work that requires the various materials you can do that while you're doing your quantity takeoff or you can do it after you're doing you're done with your quantity takeoff now once you're done we'll now go back to report section here now in this report here we have the adlm report then we have the materials so let's click on these materials you see it gives you the total quantities of sharp sand reinforcement bars nails marine board granite and all of that so it gives you and the unit of measurement in front here okay so this is usually dependent on the details you have here so level of details will determine how this looks like 